Hiya, hiya. Uh, welcome to the Joey Reynolds porch. Hey, you know what? I, I'll tell you something about this uh, broadcast here. You know, this is a, a podcast uh, in a way. It's a download. It's that Joey Reynolds rap on YouTube. And you know what? We don't have the coverage that a lot of shows have. There are some things that are very cult. There's a crime show that's a whole series of them on pod that's downloaded on Apple. You know, you take your Apple, I, your, your wonderful instrument, and you download a show about crime, mostly women watching it, and it's very popular because they want to see how they fit into a society that has been disruptive and how women can protect themselves and have issues that they can cross talk with in the, in the demographic. You know, uh, uh, I noticed that AARP is starting to advertise finally for people my age. You know, they're over 50. They're finally trying to reach that audience because they realize that we have income. We have disposable income. We used to have savings. We don't have that anymore. <laughs> but th these are a lot of issues. All these things are issues. But I wanted to mention that there is a guy who is named Harvey Rockman who died over the weekend. You would never know him, probably, unless you have dealt with him. Uh, he's off to see the wizard because uh, he died from being the background guy behind most movie deals. You would never know about him. He lived in Key West, Florida, and uh, he arranges a, the stars and the financing. I met him, oh my God, uh, I, I met him when we had the 50th anniversary of Ed Asner, who was on Roots to begin with, and Ed Asner is the voice of Up in the Air. Is it Up in the Air? Uh, he has a, a, so much, so, I mean, he was a president of SAG, the uh, Union for Actors. See, there are many people you don't know historically, but there are many people you wouldn't know who do the work that make things happen instead of all of these uh, television presences that we have. You know, it, it's a celebrity call. I mean, you, you know who the regular ones are, the Taylor Swifts and the, you know, you know everything about Justin Bieber and, and uh, lately uh, uh, Tyler and his uh, dealings with hiring a guy who was on the Cosby show who he discovered at Trader Joe's bagging groceries and now he's gonna put him in his movie down in Atlanta. You know, I mean, these are all gossip things and they're wonderful things for you to, uh, to think about in a mindless society. But you know, the fact of the matter is that we have a lot of things that we have to settle and we're putting them on television sparingly. Uh, but this whole hearing right now, this uh, the, the, uh, to find a chief justice of the Supreme Court we could really get this over with very quickly by appointing Judge Judy and uh, have another television pre got a TV guy as a president. You may as well have another celebrity there. And, and if you want financing to be figured out, get Bernie Madoff. I mean, there's a guy who really knew how to make Madoff with the money. <laughs> he, knew how to, he knew how to handle finances. A little crooked. But, you know, if you want to know about sex, why don't you go ask Harvey Weinstein? See, these are experts uh, until they got caught. And many people do things so that they get caught because they want to stop, they get bored with the game. You know, that's true. That's another true crime series. This is a, str a strange time in history because all of the volcanoes are erupting, the earth is shaking and quaking, the weather is shifting, the storms are in places where they don't belong, we're having winter in the summer. This is a really, this, these are signs of something. I don't know what the, I don't know what, if there's a one-liner that describes everything. But I would say that we have to start paying attention. <laughs> I go to the school of pay attention. And uh, you, you might want to watch me every day because I'm a guy who stays on top of things, you know. I'm a, I'm a top. I look at all the things that are going on with everybody in this society. Uh, and I take them and I measure them. And I see a lot of the foolishness. I've done a lot of it myself. And the absurdity of life, you know, which is we had people who were doing it through comedy for a long time. We had George Carlin who... Uh, we lost him a few years ago. But you know, there are people who are terrific at, at making us laugh with how foolish we are. But then there are those who are believed to be sages and, and people with the goods. Uh, I would say that uh, there's a cult religion with Rush Limbaugh, you know, the ditto heads. There's a, there's a following that people have because you agree with them. And in Congress, it's said that it, you have to learn to get along with people you don't agree with. Well, if that's the case, then uh, uh, get married. You'll, you'll, you'll learn very quickly. Or have some teenagers. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, fight the government on something that you don't like. Oh, boy. Uh, they, see, the government's never going to save you. They, they, that's not their job. Uh, another person's not going to save you. Someone in the family may if you really need to be bailed out. 
but nobody's going to really take you and save you. You got to do it yourself, you know. If it is to be, it's up to me. That's the old saying I used to hear all the time. It's bringing in my ear. And I, I, I just got to pass this on to you that, you know, as you're watching me on this medium here, this is not XM serious. Although my friend Tom, Shotgun Tom, is on there every night now from L.A. on the Sixes channel. I might give him a plug. But, you know, there's nobody really paying attention to the things I'm paying attention to. I'm looking at the ridiculousness of it all and reporting it. Now, what do I mean by that? Do you know how famous Donald Trump is? Do you realize that every time you mention his name, you make him more famous? Do you realize how many impressions there are on radio and TV and arguments and podcasts where they put this guy's name out there? you realize how famous he got? Now, let me say this. There's a difference between fame and notorious. Famous and notorious. John Kennedy was famous. Abe Lincoln was famous for politicians. Jesse James and even Willie the Actor Sutton were notorious. So a difference between fame and notorious. Fame is not criminal as a rule. Notorious is. So you figure it out. Let a smile be your umbrella, but don't get a mouthful of fame.